G'day everyone, this is Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. Welcome to this weekly video in the free math worksheet series. Now before I get started on this particular video, I want to put out a special welcome to all the new subscribers. We had a trade show last weekend, or I should say Education Expo um, in Brisbane, and we met a whole lot of new teachers and we invited them to join the list. So the number of teachers watching this video and using these worksheets has just about doubled this week. So we're very excited to have you on board and a big welcome to you. And of course, a welcome to everybody else. So the strategy this week is doubles plus one. This comes from our new ebook called Let's Go for grade one or year two students. And it's from the second book, which is all about addition strategies. So the strategy doubles sorry, double plus one is based, of course, on knowing doubles. And the first thing to say is if a student didn't know the doubles, then stop and go back and revise those first because this strategy relies on knowing those. So doubles plus one facts aren't that simple. And I'm starting with six plus seven. If you don't have something to go back on, you know, that's going to be rather difficult. So we're basically going to say to the student, do you know what six plus six is? And they'll say they know the answer is 12. And then we'll say what's 6 plus 7. And the worksheets take that approach. So they're not just random double plus 1 questions, but they're in pairs. So we have a double first and then a double plus 1 and so on. So with the 10 frame, it's a fairly simple matter to show the doubles. They should be familiar with that pattern. In the case of 6s and the case of all the doubles, we're going to use everyday context. So for 6s, we can talk about eggs being packed in dozens and half dozens and tell stories about that. Um, and then, of course, we just put one more and say, how many are there now? Refer to the number fact 6 plus 7. Uh, later on the worksheets, there are some turnaround facts like that. And so we can use the same approach. One thing to say here, 7 plus 6, you could have a child say, well, I know 7 plus 7 and I can take one away. So it is actually the same, of course, as a double take away one. I wouldn't teach both strategies. I think that would confuse the students, giving them too many choices. Uh, but it's certainly an option if the students can do it. OK, that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll talk to you next time.